Hello and welcome to New Music Tuesday. Um, few things dropped today, but today's video is about Miss Alicia Keys, and so I'm gonna jump right into it. Uh, today, November 27th, she released her fifth studio album. Yeah, fifth. Uh, called Girl on Fire. Um, she's been promoting the heck out of it, and today is the day that it's released. Um, I have listened to it twice today, and I like many of the songs. I love the song called Brand New Me. I love New Day. I love Tears Always Win. And I can tell you exactly why I like those three songs. Because I looked at who wrote them. Brand New Me, she wrote with Emily Sande, who I love. That girl is amazing. And then Tears Always Win, she wrote with Bruno Mars. Um, So that's another bonus point. And then New Day, she wrote with um, Andre Young. And Andre Young is a... um, It's Dr. Dre. So... <laughs> Um, so those are the, that's the reason why I like those songs because you can hear the influences of those people in those songs. So, um, but I do like some other songs. She wrote some stuff with, um, Babyface or Kenneth Edmonds, uh, Frank Ocean. Let's see who else. Yeah, she has a good list of writers that assisted her, but she wrote all of her music. She was co, she co-wrote a lot of her music. Thumbs up for that. I love it. When singers write and create their own music. I love that. Um, so overall, I really love the quality of work. I love the whole body of work. Um, the lyrics are beautiful. The um, beats and the m- music, the way it flows, really great. There's maybe one or two songs where I'm just like, what, what, what's, what's going on with that beat, you know? Um, but for the most part, I really do enjoy the flow of the album. Um, I have a bone to pick with Alicia, though. And here we go. Her voice. The quality of her voice has decreased album after album after album. And I finally started to notice it after her third album. I think it's As I Am. I think that was her third one. Let me just double check. Um, After, yeah, As I Am. After As I Am came out, that's when I really started to notice that her voice was taking a nosedive. And The Element of Freedom came out, and I said, oh, it's still falling. And now Girl on Fire came out, and her voice is just nose is just taking a dive completely off the cliff. There are points on this on her new album where I'm not even sure she's going to hit some of these notes because it sounds like it hurts her. It physically hurts her. Like, you can almost feel her pain. And it's not the good kind of pain. She's not trying to evoke the kind of pain that you're feeling when you hear her. She's not trying to evoke that because during an upbeat, fast song, you know, you jamming and stuff, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, that sounds like it hurts. That's not... That shouldn't be what she's trying to do, but that's what I feel. And so it's really hard for me to really listen to her album without thinking about her recording. I can visualize her recording the song as I'm listening to it, like clenching at her throat because it hurts so much for her to sing it. She even admitted that she wrote the song Girl on Fire in too high of a key for her. Her own. She wrote her own song in too high of a key. So that told me something right there. That is the bone I have with Alicia Keys. That's the bone I have to pick with her. She doesn't work on her vocals. Everything else is on t- in tip-top shape. Her brain, her creativity, her piano skills, she still has that going. But her vocals, she just lets slide. And I feel like, Alicia, if you're going to be singing these songs, you need to sing them right. You can't write these beautiful songs and then not be able to sing them. This album sounds like you singing somebody else's songs. That's what it sounds like to me. If Beyonce or Mary J. Blige or somebody like that were singing these tracks, business. It'd be on the money. But, and I hate to say that because Alicia is so good at what she does. She's so good creatively. And I just want her voice to match her creativity. That's the only problem I have with her. If she got all that on point, then 
we'd be in business and I would have nothing to say about her. I know people don't like her because of her personal life and that whole Swiss Beats mess, but that's not my problem and that's not my business. I'm judging the music, the creativity. I'm judging your product that you present to me as the consumer. And so that's the bone I have to pick. Overall, I give the album itself an A. I really do. I love lyrics on this album. But because her voice takes away from it, her voice is really bad, you guys, in my opinion. So I give her maybe about a D vocally. So that brings it to what? About a B minus C. And that's really all I can do for it because I just feel like she's so much better than what she's given us vocally. That's my only problem I have with her. Um, before I go, I just want to share with you you guys, some of the lyrics that she came up with. I mean, like I said, the girl is a genius when it comes to lyrics. And so I'm a little disappointed in her for not, you know, having brought her A game. And so, oh my gosh, why is it not loading right now? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I just had the lyrics up here for you guys, I promise. And now it's not even here. This is crazy. Cyber Monday is over, people. And why would you even be on a lyrics website in the first place? Because there's nothing to buy there. So, come on. Come on. Okay, we're here. Okay, so the song I wanted to share, you, share with you, Brand New Me. Um... Yeah, the lyrics that I want to read to you. Oh my goodness. Load already. Okay. So, sorry guys. Um, It says here, If I talk a little louder, if I speak up when you're wrong, if I walk a little taller, I've been under you too long. If you notice that I'm different, don't take it personally. Don't be mad. It's just a brand new kind of me. That ain't bad. I found a brand new kind of free. And at the beginning, the first thing she says, it's been a, a while. I'm not who I was before. You look surprised. Your words don't burn me anymore. Been meaning to tell you, but I guess it's clear to see. Don't be mad. It's just a brand new kind of me. Can't be bad. I found a brand new kind of free. I love it. I love... It. I mean, it's nothing too complex. I hope you weren't expecting it to be like complex or anything. I just think she has a very good flow and a good way of communicating how she feels. And so, even though that's a great thing for her, if she's not careful, nobody's going to care about her songwriting skills because her voice will have ruined it. And so, people will be begging her to just write for other people. That's what I'm afraid of. So... Alicia, you know what you need to do, girl. Work on them vocals. That's it for New Music Tuesday, and I will see you next week.